Good evening, good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, giving all glory and honor to my Lord and Savior on this evening. Um, I'm not sure if it looks a little fuzzy. On my end it does. I'm using my iPad today to record this video, and I'm making two videos tonight. This is um, just something different than what I mentioned yesterday, but stay tuned because before 10 o'clock, the other video will be made. I'm making two videos on tonight because um, the next couple of days, not unless I just hear a huge breakthrough of some sort, the next couple of days I probably won't be on here. So, um gonna be doing a lot of prayer and stuff and talking with that but um giving all glory and honor to my lord and savior on today big shout out to all of my followers all of my followers old and new um naming this video um that our words are powerful and they can be used to uplift or to tear down and um, I wanted to bring to you guys an article. Um, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to tell you guys about it. This is, a, this is an incident, and you guys can Google it. Uh, it happened in Pennsylvania. I believe it was last week. It had to have been early last week or the week before. And um, there was a couple, a male and a female. I believe they were married. And they were arguing with their neighbor that lived the street so I actually seen the video of them um, before they were deceased and when I say graphic like it had messed with me the whole day and it further let me know how um, our mouth can get us in a lot of trouble the words that we say to others can affect someone greatly you have people nowadays they don't care about killing you or themselves and um, words are powerful so we need to be careful what we speak but anyway the incident happened in Pennsylvania it was a, a male and a female that were married and they were going back and forth with the neighbor calling him queer and talking about him cursing at him yelling at him right so the neighbor retrieves back to his house and um, when he returned outside, he had a gun. Now, this is on video, and it actually happened in Pennsylvania. All you have to do is Google couple who uh, got shot in Pennsylvania over snow. This incident was over snow, because you know all out through a lot of parts of the world, it's snowing. And um, this incident was literally over snow. I, I can't believe it. So he retrieves back to his house. He returns back out with a gun. <laughs> the wife, while he's shooting the gun, is holding the phone. I'm recording you. Now, honestly, I wouldn't be thinking of recording nobody if they had a gun. Like, I'm going to either be calling on Jesus or trying to get out of there. But, um, um, you know, people do the strangest things. So he came out there and he's shooting and she's still holding her phone talking about i'm gonna get you i got you on camera he shot her she falls to the ground he shoots to the husband the husband runs back to the car he continues to shoot her in her face and while he's shooting her she's still i had never seen nothing like it she's still literally cursing him out as he's shooting her in the face after he's done with her he um, goes up to the husband, shoots him again, goes back to the house and gets a ride, a, 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 um, a, I don't know if it was a, a ride-off shuffle gun or if it was a rifle. It was one of those big guns, the big ones. Sh sawed off a rifle, that's what I meant to say. He, he comes back because, you know, when he first started shooting, he had a little gun. He went back and got a rifle came back out shot her again made sure she was dead went to the guy across the, you know what he was by his car laid out and shot him again and um it was in definitely in point blank range he made sure they were dead after he shot them he walked back to his house 
and shot himself. Three people are now dead over snow. And tell me how senseless that it, that is. And you know what? Instead of uplifting each other and encouraging each other, they were tearing him down on the video. They were cursing him clean out. Clean out. And he went crazy. And see, we don't know what people are going through. That's why we don't need to be cursing people out. Talking to people all type of crazy. Because just because they quiet don't mean nothing. Those are the main ones you need to be worried about. The quiet ones. I'm telling you. It's not always the one with the big loudest mouth. I wanted to share with you guys some scriptures in regard to um, our words. Okay. Your words are more powerful than you think. The power and responsibility is discussed several times in the Bible. Here are 17 things the Bible says about using and the repercussions of misusing this power. Proverbs 13 and 3. Whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He, he, he who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. And you know, the reason I shared that story with you guys, that um, incident with you guys, is because just think. And I'm not saying they deserved it. I would never say that. But just think if they would have held back on cursing and taunting that man. How they could have been alive. That could have been avoided. Ephesians 4 and 29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths. But only such as is good for building up. As fit the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. So for example, if you're cursing someone out. If you're telling them how much you hate them. It's definitely going to bring hardness and sadness to that person's soul because you know we were made in God's image and um we should not be speaking evil to each other because it's definitely not of God it's definitely of the devil okay Proverbs 18 verse 19 a brother who has been insulted is harder to win back than a walled city Wow. And arguments separate people like the bar gates of a palace. This right here alone lets us know we shouldn't be arguing. And I need a lot of these scriptures too. Proverbs 10 and 20. The words of a good person are like pure silver, but an evil person's thoughts are worth very little. Okay. Proverbs 11 and 17, your own soul is nourished when you are kind, but you destroy yourself when you are cruel. God is of love. And we're, that's what we're supposed to be. Be showing love, right? Proverbs 16 and 24, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. Matthew 15, verse 18, but what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. Matthew, you know, oh God, and I felt the spirit just from reading this scripture I'm going to read now. I feel the spirit because I know that the words that we speak, you guys, we're going to be judged for everything. Even if someone's tearing you down or talking to you like you're not them, we're gonna be, they're going to be judged for, for all of that. So hopefully you guys can actually turn in your Bible or look it up in your phone because I really feel the spirit reading this one right here is touching me. Matthew 12 and 36, and I'm trying not to cry, but it, um, it just, it's, the word is life. You guys, and without the word of God, we're not going to make it. And you know, so many times in life, people think they're going to get away with um, how they talk to you, how they curse you out. And it might seem that way. But right here in his word, we're going to be judged. For every, every, let me read this word. 
do you mean? Let me read this word to y'all today. Matthew 12 and 36. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. So you can go ahead and curse Sally and Jim out all you want to and not apologize. Guess what? You might not care, but God does. God cares about all of us because we're something special. He made us in his image. And of course, his image is beautiful, so so are we. That's why he doesn't want us to be nasty to each other. And I know, I'm sure we've all fall short of um, things that we speak to one another. That's why I think these scriptures are really going to help not just you, but, but me as well. Okay. Colossians 3 and 8. But now you must put them all away. God wants us to put away anger, away wrath, away malice, away slander. He wants us to put away obscene talk from our mouth. Okay. James will be the last scripture because this video wasn't supposed to be this long. Okay. James chapter 1 verse 26. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart. The person's religion is worth this. So that's why we got to repent daily. Because even as, as servants of God, we tend to still make mistakes. And I, well, I know I do. And no one's perfect. Even if we're not saying something, we might get angry and think it or whatever it is. And um, we, we have to repent daily and ask for God to help us to speak the right words to one another so i think those are really awesome scriptures in regards to the words we speak and how it can either uplift or um it can be the downfall of, for someone else that's why it's good to be kind because god is of love and that's something that th this lesson I feel can teach us all something in regards to watching what we say, being kind to others. Um, I noticed, and, I, and I'm going to end this video, I noticed um, earlier when I was at work, I, I had got a comment from someone I'm sure is not a follower. And I was going to delete it and block it anyway. But um, obviously the person must have felt convicted or whatever, and they must have deleted the comment themselves. And um, somebody had commented, F your family. You know, F your family. That's what this person commented. But immediately when I was finna delete it, that person obviously deleted it. And, and I know for sure they're not a follower. I know for sure they're not. So that's what I'm saying. God must have either convicted that person somehow. I didn't have to delete it. Because, um, you know, living for God, you're going to come against a lot of people that are witches and warlocks and they don't know who they're messing with right here i might not be this perfect saint of god i have my issues you know but um one thing about me it's good they deleted that comment because <laughs> when i say i would have rebuked that mess that demonic mess right up off that page but i didn't have to because see god did it they did it so you know, I, I, I know what these videos do to people who are, are anti-Christ, meaning not the actual anti-Christ, but people that are against Jesus. I know what it does, but obviously God must have convicted their heart, like within that one second, because they deleted it themselves. Um, I'm not worried about anything evil being put like on my page like that. And that's not the first time I've seen somebody put some weird mess on here. And guess what? I rebuked it and I delete it and block it. I'm not finna deal with the devil and his witches and none of that stuff. I've had that stuff happen. I've, I've had somebody try to put a spell on me and my daughter before. This happened years ago. Those who's been following me knows. So I, I don't have no problem with praying, with, with, praying that, with praying that prayer because I know God delivers. I know it. But anyway, 
who you think is getting off into something else. This video wasn't supposed to be this long. Make sure to tune in to tonight's video on what's going to happen after the rapture. I love you guys with the love of Christ. Let's not to forget to repent before we end our night. I'd like to make this disclaimer. I'm not a prophet, a minister, or a pastor. Just a servant of the Lord trying to live for God daily. Peace.